Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. Today's video we're going to go over um, price predictions. So I was browsing the internet this weekend and I came across, across two cryptocurrency websites that actually posted the predictions for most major cryptocurrencies. But uh, before I go any further, first of all I just want to say this is not financial advice. With that being said, this video is just to entertain that idea of if these sites could possibly be right. So let's go to the sites here. Uh, yep, let's fix this up. So we have, oops, here we go. Two sites, Wallet Investor, dot com and the second site is coinliker.com so in the two sites um, if you go to let's go to walletinvestor.com you can see if you click on uh, crypto like bitcoin it gives you um, the price some charts etc but if you click up here under forecast and we can go to crypto forecast and then click on Bitcoin. You hear you can see their predictions like right now it's at uh, 9306 and what they predict in a year is 18,000 and 56,000 in 5 years. So um, the neat part about this is um, it just gives you um, predictions also by month as you go down lower. So they have most of the major uh, cryptos. So if we go to Ethereum in here as well, and then um, gives you the one year, five year. Let's go to crypto forecasts and then in here you can uh, see how they come to their uh, how they get their uh, I guess this lengthy article of how they uh, um, come to their conclusions of the price forecast and the second website I stumbled on is coinliker.com it has something similar. It's not nearly as prominent as in here where it's on the main menu for their forecasts. But if you click on, say, for, uh, crypto, let's go to Bitcoin here. And then there's a little link here that says, take a look at our Bitcoin price prediction. And you can see what they think it will be. Now, I couldn't find... Um, any uh, any methodology for them on their website. So um, it's it would be interesting to see how they come up to the with these numbers. So let's go back here. Earlier today, I grabbed the current one year, five year predictions from Wallet Investor and CoinLiker.com of the top five. Uh, cryptos and just to compare them all in one page let's get that here and here we go so as you can see in here we have um, Bitcoin with the price today from both websites and then what they think it'll be in a year and in five years as you can see coin is really uh, a lot higher than Wallet Investor. I think um, Wallet Investor seems to be more conservative with their predictions, and while CoinLiker seems to be going to the moon with theirs. I think Wallet Investor's predictions are closer than uh, CoinLiker to where I speculate where prices will be. I personally hope it will be higher than what Wallet Investor has, as they put Bitcoin at 18000 at the end of the year. However, if CoinLiker is correct five years from now things will be very good i mean look at these prices uh, 171,000 for one bitcoin 27,000 for one ethereum 
Um, EOS at eighty nine thousand. It's just it's, it's be crazy. I mean, I, I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but it's it's just kind of at this point in time, it's kind of for me, it's kind of crazy to think that these prices could be what we're looking at five years from now. So here's my take on crypto price predictions. Um, as you can see, both offer very positive outlooks with the top five cryptos out there. CoinLiker has a really positive outlook. With that being said, here's my take. Um, one, I look at them for entertainment purposes only. You can see there's a vast difference in price predictions between the two sites. So it tells me the methods used to come to their conclusions are vastly different. Also, not that these predictions, uh, it should also be noted that these predictions do change on a daily basis. For example, um, wallet investor updates their predictions every three minutes. So um, what you see as the moon today could possibly be opposite tomorrow in their prediction. Secondly, I believe there's way too many factors involved in cryptocurrency projects and the markets to base any investment decisions on websites like these. There's just too many factors. Hacks make things, uh, things get hacked, uh, finding a faulty code, um, market manipulation, those things can't be, um, or are government intervention or over regulations, those things can't be um, factored into um, predictions. And finally, I believe price predictions take the focus off the technology and what I believe is the main driving force behind cryptos and the blockchain behind them. So it's it's like putting the, the carriage before the ho horse, uh, in my opinion. The blockchain technology and the development of it is should be the one that's driving the price. And um, while markets and speculators will affect it, I believe in the long run um, that the development technology, the team, is what will give it real value and long-term value. I don't place the value of cryptos on the actions of speculators and traders, but their actually actual technology offering and the team behind it. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.